I was very lucky uh, to have attended uh, the premiere of uh, Erling's first opera, A Young Girl Dreams of Taking the Veil. And uh, I was uh, overwhelmed by the experience. Um, and I've seen a number of uh, Erling's other operas. And so when Erling got in touch with me about the uh, possibility of turning She Who Is Alive into an opera, I was very excited and flattered. This book was something I don't even know how it came into my library. It, it magically appeared one day. And I read it a few times. And uh, it bubbled around for many years. And then I, I thought, you know, this, this would be perfect. I was looking for a book that... I thought could be made into a film, uh, an opera film or a film opera or, or whatever. And um, it was relatively short. I was really attracted to the language. It's very musical language, in my opinion. And, um, and the subject was intriguing to me for a number of reasons. It, it connected with topics that I'm often interested in, kind of surreal topics and religion. Uh, um, there are some very strange turns uh, in the plot. And uh, so I had this book. I didn't know where it was from. And I thought, you know, I should just do this. The method I used to, to write the book was I actually made a movie in my head. And then I wrote down what I saw. So kind of starting at the beginning and going to the end. I kind of tend to think of it as a... Uh, 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 an example of a premature anti-fascist movie, a Warner Brothers movie, uh, that uh, contains things that they weren't able to put in the original premature anti-fascist Warner Brothers movies. I, I, one of the first things I did was to take all the text from the book and just put it in a screenplay form, which you know is this very rigorous form where you know it specifies the font size and the location of text on the page and I you know I don't know there was just something fun about that exercise it got me to I needed a way to familiarize myself with the text and you know become very intimate with it obviously this is not going to be a filmed version we're going to do it live but uh, there is definitely this path towards uh, it being some kind of a filmed project in the end <laughs>